Hello, my friends, dear editors, subscriber types. If you have any interest in continuing to edit in Arma 3, there is great news arriving in just a few days. Here's the big deal. So for years, a decade, the Arma editor has looked basically like this. There have been very few changes made to it in the last 10 years since Armed Assault came out in 2006. Big changes are happening and in the Eden editor, the new version that's coming out in a few days. Uh, I'm going to walk you through them real quickly, some of the highlights as shown on the website. Uh, and you can see this at the link above. Um, first, the big, the first big thing is that it's 3D. No more trying to estimate what sits on top of what and what goes where. You can easily and quickly position things in 3D, rotate them in three on three different axes. It's great. Number two, it will be backwards compatible so that everything you made with the 2D editor can be brought into the 3D editor. Notice that that doesn't say that once you've edited it in the 3D editor, you could take it back into the 2D editor. I don't think you can, but I'm not sure. But why will it matter? Because you won't ever want to go back to the 2D editor, I don't think. Number three, undo. How many times have you done something in the editor and not been able to just quickly control Z or something to undo it? It's here and it has a complete history list of actions. So if you need to go back five, ten steps, um, you can quickly and easily do that. You can also redo it if you decide you wanted to go back and back, back and forth. <coughs> Number four, you can search through all of the assets and you can filter for different things. So you can look for helicopters or you can look for walls or you can look for uh, rifles, etc. and search through the entire config. It's great. Um, you can also, over on the left side, notice that this interface, if you know the Zeus interface, it looks a lot like that and uh, using the left and right side. Um, one of the things you can do is create sort of groups or layers of objects and deal with them all as one thing. So you could move them or copy and paste them once you set up like a little camp or a table with certain objects on it. Um, Arsenal, it has quick integration to using Arsenal and finding the assets in there, which will help you uh, configure units, both player and AI units. You can quickly edit the crew of a vehicle, not have to do that using custom scripting, similarly using that left side uh, browser. A lot of what we used to do in the description.ext can now be done right in the editor, not everything apparently, but uh, a lot of it, setting up the parameters for the scenario, etc., respawn, all that stuff, more user friendly. It'll quickly integrate into the Steam Workshop, so you can be uploading things directly there um, and pulling things directly there. One of the cool things, which I'm not, I don't have the details on yet, is that if you're using mods, you can quickly connect users to mods. Um, actually, um, maybe that's more to do with the server, the browser-based server list that when you go into the new uh, browser, server browser from the main menu that is that's a, that's an important point the main menu the launcher i should call it the launcher will have uh, the ability to browse through online servers and check their mods and quickly download mods that you need without having to do an external search around putting things in folders so that'll be cool and lastly the editor itself will be moddable. I am not sure what people will do with this. I saw one mod that was very cool called Compo T, C O M P O T, that uh, adds another way to search through the config list of the archive of objects and things um, in a visual way. That's very cool. I recommend it. Check it out. Um, you can find it on Armaholic. You can find it on the BIS forums also. So that's it. Um, it's a big deal, and it's coming out any day now, the Arma 3 Eden Editor.
have fun.